Shalom family. So I thought I'd uh, take a moment and share something special with you that I'm working on for myself. Um, I've spoken before about the fact that you should write the Word of God out. It helps you to remember and retain the Word of God and really grow in that time that you spend with the Lord. So I've got journals and journals where I do this through various books when I have time and I sit down and I dig deep and I write them out. But a project I've been working on for a few years now on the side for me and my family is taking the ancient Hebrew and directly translating it the way I think it's coming across. And again, stick to your Bible, New King James, King James, ESV, whatever you're using, let the Lord guide you. This is me taking the Hebrew, digging deep into the Hebrew and pulling it across. And it reveals so much more descriptive beauty. It doesn't change the message. It makes it more incredible for me. So if you've got your Bible, turn to Genesis 1, Bereshit, and we'll read chapter 1 together in the first few verses of chapter 2. And I'm going to read to you the translation I've translated from the Hebrew and how incredible, descriptive and powerful it becomes when you do this exercise. But again, it takes time. I've been working on this for years. I'm still going on, um, but it's beautiful. It, it, it awakens a sense of awe in me for what we're missing in the descriptions of what he did. So, without further ado, Bureshit. The name for God in the beginning of the Bible is Elohim. Elohim's direct translation from the Hebrew is gods, plural. And we know we serve one God, but the name Elohim denotes Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So let me just make sure you get that immediately, that you don't think I'm speaking a different gospel to you. <clears throat> All right. In the beginning, God's created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was a desolation and an undistinguishable ruin. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was brooding over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And it became light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God's divided the light from the darkness. And God's named the light Yom. And the darkness he named Layil. And the dusk and the dawn were the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse to sever the waters. And let it divide waters from waters. And God's made an expanse to divide the waters which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse. And it was so. <clears throat> and God's named the expanse Shamayim. And the dusk and the dawn were the second day. And God said, let the waters under heaven be bound together to one place. And let dry ground appear. And it was so. And God's named the dry ground Eretz. And the gathering together of the waters, Yum. And God saw it was good. And God said, let the earth sprout grass, the herb yielding seed, fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed is in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And the dusk and the dawn were the third day. And God said, let there be luminous bodies in the expanse of heaven to divide day and night 
and let them be for signs and seasons, days and years. And let them be luminous bodies in the expanse of heaven to shine upon the earth. And it was so. And God's made two great luminous bodies, the older luminous body to rule the day and the smaller luminous body to rule the night. He made the stars. And God's put them in the expanse of heaven to shine upon the earth and to rule day and night and divide light from darkness. And God saw that it was good and the dusk and the dawn were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters swarm with moving creatures that breathe and let birds fly above the earth, above the face of the expanse of heaven. And God's created great sea monsters and every living creature that swarms, which the waters swarmed abundantly after their kind and all winged birds after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God's blessed them saying, bear fruit, increase, fill the waters in the sea and let birds increase in the earth and the dusk and the dawn were the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures after its kind, beasts and creeping things, living creatures of the earth after their kind. And it was so. And God's made the beast of the earth after its kind and cattle after their kind and everything that creeps and moves rapidly upon the ground after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make mankind in our resemblance after our shape and let them have rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the world and over all things that creep and move rapidly over the ground. And God's created mankind in his resemblance, the resemblance of God's created he him, male and female. He created them and God's blessed them and God said to them, be fruit and increase, fill the earth and rule it, reign over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over all living things that move upon the earth. And God said, see, I have delivered to you all herbs set with seed, which is on the face of the ground and all trees in which is fruit bearing seed. To you it shall be food, and to all living creatures of the earth, and to all birds of the sky, and to all things that creep on the earth in which is life. I have given all green herbs for food, and it came to pass. And God saw all that he had made, and lo, it was good, and the dusk and the dawn were the sixth day. In chapter 2, first four verses. And Shamaim and Eretz were finished, and all things. And on the seventh day, God's completed his work which he had made, and rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God's blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it, he had rested from all his work, which God's created and made. These are the history of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. In the day that Yahweh Elohim made the earth and the heavens. Special. Descriptive. Powerful. Gives you more to imagine and see just from the Hebrew language. So, I hope that blessed you. The Bible is full of so many things that can bless us and enrich our journey with Him. And especially now as we grow closer and seek His face and draw near in intimacy. God bless. Have a great day. Go spend time with Jesus.
שלום.